Hello, this is Stephen Pasquini from the Smarty Pants Board Review website. And today I'm going to share a tool with you that I think will really change and revolutionize the way that you are preparing for and organizing your pants study plan. So this is a tool called Trello and it's at Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. And what Trello is, it's a project management tool. If you've heard of it and you're familiar with it, then great. If not, which many of you uh, may not be, this is uh, what we call a Trello board. So what you're looking at here is a Trello board. And Trello boards can be anything. In this case, we are going to be working with a Trello board that I've created for you that is specific to the pants blueprint. So as you know, the Pants Blueprint is huge. Um, uh, there are over 460 plus topics and we have that covered all, all the entire blueprint on the Smarty Pants website. And probably one of the biggest things I hear is, Stephen, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin with this website. There's just so much content here. So today's goal is to help give you a organizational tool that will helpfully make this less overwhelming and, and I'm sure will help you as you progress through your preparation. So I think what I will do is I'll show you how to set up a Trello account if you don't have one already, bring in the board that we're working with here, and then how you can use this to study for your own boards. And maybe in a later video, I can give you some more advanced techniques that you can use to really take this tool and make it uh, something special and then make it your own too. So, so to create a Trello board, I'm going to bring in a new window here. This is actually Trello's website and I'm not logged in here. Now you can either sign up or log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Honestly, it's the same process when you're signing up. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and click log in on the website and I know it's using my email address and I will just enter my password here and I will log in. And when I log in, it's gonna take me to kind of this main place where I have all, all the different boards that I may be working with. Now to create a new board or to add a board, I am going to take a link. So I'm gonna share this template link with you. It'll be here probably below this video uh, or in the email or wherever uh, it is you're watching this, I'll have this link uh, ready and available for you. So you're gonna see a board like this and, I want, and you're just gonna copy this link. So I want you to go ahead and copy this link and then if you stick it in your browser window, so I'm gonna actually, maybe you can't see this, but I'm gonna copy and paste it in my browser window and it's going to give me this template again. It's going to say create board from template. So you're going to click this. Now it's going to automatically label it. So this is the Smarty Pants NCCPA Blueprint Study Plan. Oh, I lost it there. Um, now you can create teams. I don't want to necessarily create a uh, team for this. You're going to want to keep your cards and you're going to keep the template cards as well. And then we are going to actually, I'm going to rename this so it's different. I'll just say the pants. Obviously, I'm having troubles here. There we go, the pants, NCPA Blueprint Study Plan, and we will just click Create. And you're gonna see it's creating board, and there it is. So it's actually brought this board into your Trello account. This is what it will look like. So as you can see, everything is kept exactly the same, which is the way we want it. Now, there are three main categories here that I've set up. Now, you can add more, you can customize this as much as you want, but let's just start with what we have already built for you, and that is this template of a study plan. So the beauty of this plan is we have all 14 uh, organ systems here organized with all the Smarty Pants lessons and every single blueprint topic already um, here and in there. Now, if you don't know, uh, on the website, I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second, there is already an interactive checklist that I have made in PDF form. Now the PDF form has been very popular. It's linked to all the organ systems. And then there's also all the medical uh, content categories. This is an exact replica of the NCCPA blueprint. And these are all linked and clickable. So if you use this, for example, you can just click on any of these options. It will automatically open up the corresponding link um, to this where you can then study on the Smarty Pants website. Uh, but what you, you might find and what, what's trouble, or at least what's hard here, is really organizing this and tracking it. Now, you can edit PDFs, right? Uh, you can print this out and copy it, but that kind of, that kind of subtracts from the ability to, to link to these. Uh, so 
I think Trello is kind of a superior tool. So let's bring back our Trello board and show how we could use this using our new Trello board that we created. So this is a Trello board that you've copied over and it's gonna look like this. Now let's go ahead and say, I think I am going to start uh, with cardiovascular system because the cardiovascular system as we know is you know the beast. There's also 13% of their exam covered by it. So let's start here. Now if I click one of these, what they're called cards, it is going to pull up this um, uh, this page, or I guess this window. And this window has every single one of the lessons verbatim of the NCCPA content blueprint. And each one of these is then linked to the corresponding content on the Smarty Pants Board Review website. Here's the cardiology system pre and post test. Here are each of the lessons, and within these lessons are pearls, they're tables that summarize each of the lessons below this. Now, the pearls aren't on the um, content blueprint, I've created those specifically, uh, but they are the main categories at which each, of the, um, which each of the organ system lessons is listed. So, for example, say today we want to cover dilated cardiomyopathy. Now, if I click this, it will automatically open up the corresponding dilated cardiomyopathy lesson here on Smarty Pants. Sorry, let me get rid of this pop-up. Uh, we can go through the presentation. We can uh, go through the pearls on cardiomyopathy. We'll review diagnosis treatment. We can even take cardiomyopathy flashcards here uh, and study these. And then we can even review osmosis and pickponic lessons directly on the website. Also here, as many of you know, there is a question which each of the corresponding lessons. The same blueprint that we saw on Trello is actually here in the sidebar as well on the Smarty Pants website, so you can navigate here. You can also mark things as done on each of these lessons as well uh, that uh, will allow you to, um, to track as well here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now, I review dilated cardiomyopathy, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this off as being done. I can then go through each of these lessons, view them on the Smarty Pants website, I can mark them done, and I can track all my progress. You're gonna see a percentage meter here as well. Now, like I said, you can do this on the Smarty Pants website, but I think being able to do it here gives you even uh, a little bit more power because what I'm gonna show you next is you can start to move things around and you can do other things, which include um, using something like timers. Now, to do timers, we have a uh, pro account, so we can add what we call power-ups. Now, power-ups are really powerful things. Uh, what you can do is you can add a calendar, so you can have calendar cards that you can do, and you can also add timers. Now, I'm gonna switch over to my account and show you kind of how these timers work. So here's my account here, and I've already added these power-ups here. Now, I'm gonna go back in the cardiovascular system here, and I have something called a work log. Now, I can actually set timers, to um, to track my time that I have been studying. This is very, very powerful because you know what? You don't wanna spend five hours studying just dilated cardiomyopathy. I can kind of set a goal and, and set these. Now you can customize these timers. You can set due dates as well. So say I want cardiovascular system to be done by the 20th of this uh, month, I can save that. And actually, now that I've saved that, I can go to calendar view and you're gonna actually see that this is my time that I'm supposed to be done with this project. Now you can move these around as well. So say I wanna move it to the 13th, the 14th, I can I can do that as well. And if you click it, it's gonna take you right to the card where the, you can tr continue to track your progress. I know that's a little bit confusing. Again, that's kind of an advanced feature. You do not have to use that, but it's really nice to be able to use uh, work logs, timers, and also calendars as you get f more familiar with Trello. Now, one of the best parts of this is these um, these these main what we call kind of I guess I'll call them category cards. So right now we have things to do, doing and done. So for example, say I'm working on cardiovascular system and I'm also working on the gastrointestinal system. Now I can put these in my doing column and I can work through them one by one. As I complete each of these sections, so say I've checked off all of the lessons, I've completed this, 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 say, say I've done this, I can then simply take this and either move the whole system over there, or if you even wanted to, you could, for example, um, uh, take these individually and move them around. Uh, actually, I take that back. <laughs> you can't. You can move them within this, but you can't move them out of it. So, so uh, let me let me take that back. But what you can do is you can move these completed systems and move them to done. You can add other lists. Say you want to track exams that you've taken. You can create a new list yourself. 
uh, and say you want to track exams, you can uh, add this, and then you can add a car to this. Um, and oh, actually here, I think. So we'll say um, pants exams. We'll say we do that, and we click on this. You can then add your own checklists as well. So you can say exams taken or exams to take, add this, and then you can create a checklist. So say you want to take the cardiovascular exam, you add this. Now you can actually mark these off as you complete them. You can even add links directly. So say you are here and say you have, let's go, let's go back to the Smarty Pants website here. So we'll click on cardiomyopathy and say we have, we want to add the cardiology exam to our Trello board. So here's a cardiology exam. Now you can actually copy the URL. I know you can't see that, but I'm copying the URL right now. And then you can actually even put this here and save it and you can keep that for yourself. You can mark it as done. Uh, you can add other exams. You can really add anything you want. If you want to get rid of a card, I think you can simply archive it and it's gone. So this is an amazing way to track. And I say I want to just archive that list. It's gone. So uh, you can move things back. So say you want to get everything back to normal. You can move it back. You can also copy the board again fresh if you're starting over. Now, uh, the other advantage of Trello or, or, or things I'm starting to add to Trello is uh, icons to video lessons. So for example, these are ones that have a Joe Gilboy uh, video lessons. We have all the extras down here too. So say you want to watch the cardiac pharmacology uh, with Joe Gilboy uh, video, you can watch that here, track it off when it's been completed and done. Very powerful. Uh, I'm also going to be creating these for the ER exam. So if you're a student and you're taking rotation exams, we will create Trello templates and boards that you can use. And really, the sky is the limit with this. Again, it's totally free. Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com is where you go. You simply create your account. I'll share the template with a link. If you have any questions, you can just simply email me and I'll be happy to try to help you out. If there's a video that you need to uh, show a little more closely how to copy these and bring these in, let me know and I'll be happy to do that as well or step you through it in any way I can. So I hope you uh, use this tool. I hope this tool is helpful. Uh, I hope you are able to really, um, you know, bring this into your own workflow and create a uh, create a system that works for you and tracking. One of the, the best predictors of success, actually, uh, there's a couple of things, but one of them is just being able to see your progress. And if you can see your progress and you can go through and say, oh my gosh, you know what, look, I have completed, you know, 8%, 10% today, that's going to make you feel good. And you can see exactly how much time you're spending so you're not wasting time. Uh, it's also going to help guide you on what to study uh, so you know, you know, so you're not wasting your time studying things you shouldn't be. Uh, I hope that helps. Again, email me if you have any questions. It's steven at smartypants.com. I hope you have a great and wonderful day.